Hello y'all, it's been a little while since I've made a video and I decided to show you what I got in the bottom of the kiln here. I have a friend that's an enabler who's told me about some new glazes and I decided to try a few of them in the kiln load. And I also bought a couple of Mako uh, glazes um, probably about a week or so ago and I decided to play it safe and just put it on the bowl without any other colors on it. I'm going to tell you about it. I have in the bottom, in the front here, this vase. It's a Mako's Robin Egg. And me and Hobby Potter was talking about this one day. She's got the uh, same color, but she's got a different brand than I do, so we're going to see how different ours comes out to be. This is a Cone 5 Mako. Also have a bowl that's in the new glazes called Opulence. It's the Red Shimmer. It's this one right here. And there's two coats with Opulence eggshell over the top. I'm still trying to get that run. So we'll see. Okay, this is a bowl that has chattering all over the bottom. And I did a swirl in the middle of this bowl in the color of Mako Midnight Rain. And then I waxed the swirl. And then I used Mako's Robin Egg all, the ra all around that. And all around the swirl and all the way up to the middle of the bowl. That's half of the bowl is done in Robin's Egg. And then I took Opulence, um, the color of Paprika, and did from the top. And I met the uh, Robin's Egg with the Paprika. And then on the edge of the bowl, I put some eggshell, which is a, another one of the um, another one of the um, opulence glazes. And on the bottom of the bowl, the very bottom, I've used Coyote's Turquoise, and I also used opulence paprika. Okay, and this bowl right here, I've done an iron luster. It's also a chattered bowl. And on the bottom of it, I used Coyote's Matte Turquoise. Here's my first little wine cup. And as you see in the bottom, it didn't turn out so swell. It is done in Opulence Red Shimmer. It has two coats on it. In the back here, the chattered bowl here to the left. This is two coats of black and coyote turquoise mat on the bottom where the chattering is. Then my casserole dish, I showed y'all this a long time ago, but I um, haven't, I didn't ever glazed it, so I decided to put it in with this load. That one has black, black tuxedo inside and on the outside, it has Midnight Rain, which is a Mako glaze. It has two coats. And the lid to it right here also has the Midnight, midnight Rain on it. Also has eggshell over the top. I'm hoping that's going to run, but, you know, be my luck, it probably won't. And the mug right here with the hand, uh, rope handle. It has Mako's Robin, Robin's Egg on it. And here's my frog pot. Finally getting the last frog pot in here. This frog pot has the opulence paprika all over it, inside and out. I also used opulence eggshell on the mushrooms. And I used a green underglaze for the frog. 
the small vase here in the back is Mako's Midnight Ring. So I have two vases in here. One has the robin's egg and the other one has the midnight rain. We're going to see what those look like. Okay, so that's it for the bottom part of the kiln. And of course I got my cones 5, 6, and 7 here. We're going to see if the kiln is any cooler after the scut technician helped me reprogram the cone 6. So here's hoping. This is actually part two of the glazing. This is the next night, or shall I say the next morning, because I stayed up again till four in the morning trying to get this kiln load finished. Um, I have quite a mixture in this kiln here. I have three spoon rests on the top here. One is red shimmer using the opulence glazes. This one is blue rutile, Potter's Choice. And this one's a Duncan Neon Orange. I decided to try something bright. This bowl has opulence paprika with opulence eggshell over the top. This one has a swirl with gunmetal green. It was over opulence paprika. It has black over the rim coming all the way down and then gunmetal green. And I have a black and gunmetal green salsa dish. I have, this is going to be a red shimmer cup here. This one that looks kind of pink here. I have two cups in here that's black with gunmetal green. This is one of them here. This cup here has a, a tree on the side here, this red shimmer. And this is a cup I'm going to be really interested in seeing. I took some iron wash. Uh, let's see who makes that. Mako puts out that, that um, stoneware wash. And I use that wash all over the cup. I used the manganese also to get the lines in the leaf. I waxed it, I went back over it with red shimmer, opulence glaze, and then on the top is the eggshell, which is opulence as well. Then I took some shun red, since I'm not having any success with it, really red, I had a little bit of really red left, and I mixed that with some shun red, and then covered this salsa dish here. And then this is red shimmer as well, as far as this little, um, container here that I'd hoped to be my spaghetti container but it's not long enough okay I didn't get a chance to show you everything that's in the kiln I do have another one back here uh, another you can see the leaf there can't wait to see this hoping this turns out so we'll, we'll see in the next few days thanks for watching